Alright, so this is the release video for the Hummingbird. This is a plane I've been working on for some time. Um, it was designed to be a, a small parasite craft to go on my uh, home ship for uh, rescues. So this is a great uh, Stormlink um, plane. This is a great rescue plane. It's very small, compact, uh, very fuel efficient, and in inexpensive. Let's actually look in the workbench. We'll see uh, what it costs. So this is a great starter vehicle. It costs uh, 25000 So you might need something else to start. I think a regular um, career starts with 20000 but I'll usually cheat in like thirty grand of money just so that I can start. But um, this is uh, all set up for Stormlinks. It has seven passenger seats, um, and this actually really makes a lot of money in Stormlinks. So it's, um, it's a tilt wing. Uh, it has two diesel motors, so that keeps the uh, fuel costs really nice and low and efficient. So we'll do a quick walk around. So it's painted in a uh, search and rescue livery. The entire wing tilts. It has a fueling port on this side and a winch. It has fixed landing gear. Uh, you see the toggle button there. We'll go ahead and toggle and we can walk inside. So as you can see it has seven seats. Um, we have a scuba, some scuba gear, some uh, firefighting equipment. As you can see we have fire extinguishers, some first aid kits, the defib, flashlight um, going all through. So we'll go ahead and we'll walk back out. We have a heater in the rear. So we also have a uh, toggle button there uh, for closing the door. Go ahead and walk around. And we'll jump in. So right here, if you see the arrow, if we go right above the arrow, you'll see a door latch. So it has a hidden door latch. So we'll go ahead and we'll click that. And we'll enter the pilot seat. And then here's our button to close that door. All right, so uh, this is set up to be uh, pretty simple. So um, you just need to do um, master power, start, stop engines and generators. And as you can see, it starts our engines up. Right here on the floor, you have your parking brake. Um, so you can uh, click that off. If you look to the left, it says throttle. It, uh, up throttle is one, down throttle is two, uh, prop pitch up is three, and prop pitch down is four. So uh, what we'll do here is we will, um, we can actually use our collective to move our prop pitch up here. So we're going to go ahead and put our prop pitch up a little. And uh, as you can see, that will start to move us forward. So what I like to do is I use 24% uh, prop when I'm just uh, starting. So about 24. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, push the wings up with the wing up button. And as you see, the wings are all the way up. So I'm just going to put the brakes on really quick and we'll walk through the gauges. So again, we have master power. This shows us our throttle, so we start out with low throttle setting. Again, like I said, one and two will increase and decrease that throttle. We can also increase and decrease throttle on the panel here if we wanted to. Start stop engines, generators, uh, port RPM and starboard RPM. We have the indicated indication of the prop pitch and percentage. We have the fuel in gallons, so as you see we start a little over 400 gallons of fuel. Um, so this is has uh, quite a bit of fuel and is very efficient. Below that we have engine temp and we have battery. Alright, from there we have our navigation panel. So I have my uh, simple ADF navigation in here. So we have bearing 2. So, so let's put in a waypoint really quick. So we'll just put in a waypoint over here at um, Harrison Air Force Base. So we'll go over here, uh, we'll put in the ADF waypoint. And as you can see, this will show what heading we have to turn to to get there. Then that will show us the distance, so it's seven nautical miles away. Uh, time to waypoint, as you can see, it uh, won't show an adequate time because we're not moving. Uh, battery delta is showing if the battery is charging or uh, discharging. So because we have the generators on, the batteries, the PIDs are controlling the uh, generator. Actually, I think I have the... Um, infant electric on. Let's shut infant electric on. So because we're at a low RPM setting, as you can see we have a discharge. So as soon as we get airborne and the um, RPMs go up, we'll get some, uh, we'll get a positive on that and that shows that we're actually charging our batteries. From there we have the wing tilt, so it shows 90. As you can see it's 90 degrees. If we were to move that down, as you can see, we that's in degrees, so that's about 45. 
and then uh, zero is all the way forwards. All right, so that's how we control our wing tilt. So we'll go ahead and put the wings all the way back up again. All right, from there we have the auto AP master and gyro. So if we just select this button, it will give us gyro. Uh, if we select this button and we put a uh, heading in greater than zero, that will um, enable the heading hold. If we put a, an altitude in greater than zero, that will um, activate our altitude hold. And then if we uh, turn that button off, it disables all modes. Below that, we have our lights. We have landing lights on the uh, nose wheel. We have nav lights, as you can see, on the wings. We have uh, strobes on the wings. And we have uh, cabin lights. So cabin light is the uh, red light in the rear. This also lights up the cockpit in, at night, so if we were to switch over to night, you can see this lights up the um, cockpit adequately. If we were to shut that off, as you can see, the cockpit's pretty dark, so I like to leave that on at night. So I'll go ahead and go back to day. Alright, to the right there we have our winch. So we have winch up and down the length and cable in meters and we have multifunction actions so if you wanted to um, if you were going to add some sort of uh, controllable um, controllable something on there like a Bambi bucket you would uh, be able to control it with that multifunction button and then we have our altitude hold over here so a pretty simple uh, aircraft this is Sky's PFD alright so uh, our wings are up uh, we're all ready to go here, so I'm gonna just gonna take the brakes off. I'm gonna use the one key to start. In actually, I'll put on the gyro as well. And you can see, I start increasing with the one key, or I could use the um, throttle up. Now you'll notice we can't go above this green on the uh, throttle setting. That's by design. Uh, when you're in this vertical mode, um, you need to limit the prop um, RPM, or else the uh, the stability system will wig out because the props are going too fast. All right, so now that uh, we're, we're airborne, all we have to do to go forwards is we can start to lower the wings or tilt them forward. So as you see, I'm at now at 45 degrees. And as you can see, we're starting to get over 70 knots. I like to wait till 70 and then I'll go all the way forwards, but you don't have to, you can instantly go forwards. So as you can see, we're uh, going up around 200 knots. Now that we're, um, you know, that actually changes the limiter on that once our wings are forwards. Once they're past, I think it's like 10%, um, it gives us more throttle. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in um, a heading. So we're currently going 136, so I'll just put that in, 136. The heading hold only works in horizontal flight. And I'll put an altitude in here of 500 feet. So we'll let that climb up. All right, so that's going to hold us at our heading and our um, and our altitude. So let's go over to this waypoint. So I'm actually going to remove the waypoint, and we'll go through the um, we'll go through the instrument navigation system a little here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll put some fog on. All right, so we entered in the uh, waypoint from the map. It's telling us to turn to 6-6 six, six and it's descending, so I'm just going to put in uh, a, a heading of 60, and we'll let that roll out. Alright, so it's as you can see, it's still going down, so I'm going to change that. We'll put in 50. There we go. So as you can see, we rolled out on f uh, above 50. It's 5-1, so we can correct that even more. We can go 51. All right, so now we're heading directly to that waypoint. All right, so waypoint showing a uh, bearing 2 of 5-1. We're going 5-1. We look at our distance. We're at 2.7 uh, nautical miles. It's going to take us uh, 0 0.7 minutes, so less than a minute. So this is a nice, fast aircraft. As you can see, we're doing about 200 knots. All right, so if we want to do our, um, so, so first let's talk about the some of the safety features. So right now we're at max throttle. So as you can see, we're building temperature. This has an auto uh, overheat protection system where um, if we go over, I believe it's 100 um, degrees, 
it will automatically reduce our throttle setting so that we can't um, so that we can't catch our engines on fire. So you'll see that happen um, if we get up to that temperature. If we hit 100 degrees, it will automatically drop a couple bars and protect our engines from overheating. Um, we can, if we wanted to, we can push that. Well, we could, you know, increase our throttle again, and once it hits 100 again, it will decrease it. So it um, prevents us from overheating our engines. All right. So the other thing to do is um, let's. Um, we can play with our prop setting here, so we can see different prop settings. As you can see, um, we get higher RPM and more fuel burn if we decrease our prop. If we increase our prop, let's go up to like 30. As you can see, we're going faster now. We're going about 210. So let's uh, see what our, max, our best speed is. Let's try about 35. I think it might be a best speed. So 35% prop is our best speed. Like I said, I like to take off with about 24%. It doesn't have to be that precise. So we're doing 215 at 35%. If we want a high economy cruise and we want to burn very little fuel, if we go full prop, 100% prop, you'll see the RPMs drop all the way off down to about 500 RPM. Uh, we're still going 196 knots. As you notice, our temperature is going to go up much, much more slowly. And uh, we're burning a lot less fuel now. So I like to often cruise around 100% prop once we're in the cruise phase of flight. That will uh, that will give us uh, a really nice um, economical cruise. Uh, you see, we're just sipping fuel very, very slowly, taking on diesel, and the diesel uh, is very cheap in Stormarks, so uh, makes it a very economical craft, especially with Stormlink. You have seven passengers there. Um, you can easily do a short trip and make seven thousand. Uh, dollars for you know and might cost you maybe you know 200 or 300 in, in fuel at most all right so let's look at our uh, navigation gauges here so as you can see the number is drastically changed the distance is increasing and the time to waypoint is negative that means we've passed the station so as you see we've well passed the station all right so let's actually go up here and we'll land so we're going to set the waypoint there all right, we will enter in the next waypoint. It's going to show us a bearing of 3, 3, and descending. So let's put in 30. All right, I'm actually going to take off the fog. All right, let's look at it again now that we've rolled out. Okay, so it says 3, 2, so let's put in 3, 2. All right, so now we're... Uh, it says 3-2. We're heading about 3-2. All right, it's uh, five nautical miles, and it's going to take us uh, a minute and a half to get there. All right, so from there, we're going to go through, and we'll just show uh, how you transition from uh, horizontal to vertical flight. So it's pretty simple. All right, so we're currently at 100% prop pitch. be there in a minute so 60 seconds ago so you see it's a nice uh, tiny little uh, very efficient plane it's great for rescue missions what I'll usually do for rescue missions is I will put in an altitude I think it's about eight feet in the uh, altitude hold and that will lower it down and um, I will lower that ramp into the water and with the ramp hanging in the water you can do uh, you can grab one of the people to rescue and then just jump in all right so here's our uh, our island we're heading to you see we're uh, about 1.2 nautical miles and half a minute to get there all right so I'm gonna reduce the prop pitch down back to about 24 percent or this line here all right and now I'm gonna start just pushing up my wings so as you can see it's going to, uh, it automatically reduced my max uh, throttle setting. Um, that that uh, enables it to be nice and stable. So that's all you have to do is push the wings all the way up. And as you see, we come to a nice stop. All right, so let's actually just push them down a little bit. And we can um, slowly move forwards. All right, you don't have to push it all the way up like I did. You could just do it, you know, slowly. 
Alright, so let's get over this and we'll just vertically drop down. Alright, so now as you can see we're over the island, so let's push it all the way up. Alright, so we can uh, descend and land a couple ways. One, we could put in a uh, low altitude in our um, altitude hold, rather. Or, or we can uh, just do it manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in my altitude hold and put a zero in. The zero disables the altitude hold. So now we have the gyro on and we have the heading hold is on. But remember, the heading hold does not work in um, vertical flight. Just It's just used for horizontal flight. So now, as you can see, I put in a prop pitch of negative 10, and that's going to descend us. All right. Alright, so as you can see, we're descending very slowly. So one way we can increase this is we can reduce our throttle. So as you can see, we'll reduce our throttle down to idle, and as you can see, we're going down much faster. And then I just add a little throttle in there. Alright, so now we can use our throttle. So I just did uh, full negative 10 degrees um, prop pitch or 10% prop pitch, and now I'm just controlling my descent with my throttle. So just the one and two keys. So you see, very nice and gentle, very easy to control. Um, it's a really nice, compact um, craft for doing um, any missions you might want to do. So I was going to say if that mission was close, we could go do it. But uh, this is a great little um, compact um, either Stormlink or... Um, rescue mission craft. Thank you for watching.